Google just released a free AI agent builder that lets you build, edit, and share mini apps to automate your work using AI. And by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly what this new tool is, how you can use it, and I'm going to share with you five crazy use cases you could start using today to have this tool automate your work. And the best part about it is it's beginner friendly, it's free, and it doesn't require you know how to code. Now, that new AI tool that I'm talking about is called Opal, and you can access it right now by going to opal.withgoogle.com. And as we can see right here, this is going to allow you to build, edit, and share many AI apps using natural language, and this is incredibly easy to Use. You're literally just going to come over here. You're going to click on create new, and then this is going to walk you through exactly how this works. You could see that you could add in user inputs. You can add in where things will be generated. You could add in outputs. And if you wanted to, you could add in different assets here. For example, you could upload files. You could access your drive. You could access YouTube. You could put text in here. You could put drawings in here. Or if you don't want to do this manually, you could literally just tell this exactly what you want to build. For example, I want to build a tool that writes blog posts for me after I give it the topic. It should do all of the research needed and then be able to write, format a blog post, and even add an image to the blog post. Now, all we have to do is say this, or we could talk this right here, and this is going to go through, and this is going to build it. Now, what you're gonna notice over here is we'll be able to preview it from right here. We'll be able to see the console right here. You can see all the different steps right here. We can control the theme right here. And once the app is done, if we click on app right here, we'll actually see it built over here. So as we can see, literally in just a few seconds, this went through and built this out. So here's exactly how this works so that we can actually see this. We're going to enter the desired blog post topic right here. Then this is going to conduct research. This is going to generate that blog post content. This is then going to generate an image description that is then going to generate the blog post image. And then it's going to generate a formatted blog post right here. We could see that this is done. We could preview it right here. We could see the console right here if we wanted to see that. And we could come over here and change the theme if we wanted to customize anything about this. Now, in addition to that, if we click an app right here, we could see exactly what this looks like. And we're gonna test this in just a second. We could come over here, we could share this if we wanted to, and we can also come up here to get a status updates, watch a demo video, and join the Google Apps Discord if you wanted to do that. So let's actually see what this is gonna look like. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna type in voice AI agents. Now what this is gonna do is this goes through the actual process. It's conducting research right here. It's then going to build a blog, it's going to create the image, and we're gonna get that final output in just a few seconds. One of my favorite parts about this is this literally walks you through up top here exactly what's being done so that you actually have a progress bar and you know when this is gonna be done, unlike some other AI agents, workflows, and processes. Okay. So here's what we actually have now. We can see that we have a title right here. It went through, it actually generated the image, and this goes through and created an amazing blog post for us. Now again, I want you to think about this. In the past, we would have had to do all of this work, or we would have had to type in multiple different prompts to Gemini or ChatGPT, but we don't have to do that anymore because now we can build out these mini AI apps for free that can go through and begin to automate these processes. In addition to that, I could have had this do SEO and I could have had this build out something that's draft ready so I could just put it on my WordPress site or on my regular website. Now, before I dive into those five crazy use cases you could start to use this for today, I wanted to remind you that as of 2025, your AI fears are actually coming to life because AI is expanding its capabilities faster and faster every single day and it's coming for white collar jobs. In fact, you could see this across a bunch of different companies because Amazon, JP Morgan, and even Ford have already began laying off people and Microsoft estimates that it could eliminate up to 36% of its current workforce because of AI. But what if you could take this negative and turn it into a positive because I don't want this to be all about fear. I want this to actually be about opportunity because the people that take advantage of AI right now and learn how to use it are actually going to make more money, get better jobs as opposed to living in fear of losing their job. 
And that's exactly why I partnered with OutSkill to give you free access to their two-day AI mastermind this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. It's 16 hours that goes through 10 powerful tools and the skills you need to future-proof your career. Now, here's the exciting part. Normally, this training costs $895, but OutSkill, the world's largest AI education platform, has been generous enough to give away a 1,000 seats for free to my loyal audience. This AI mastermind has already been attended by more than 4 million people across the globe, and they've gone on to use AI to begin to automate their work, to build businesses, and even to get salary increases. Because in this training, here's what you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn the language of AI, AKA prompt engineering, to get the best outputs using AI. You're gonna learn the 10 most powerful AI tools like Make.com, Agenticub, Claude, etc. You're also going to learn how to use AI in Excel and for creating professional presentations effortlessly. After that, you're gonna learn how to develop AI agents that can automate your work to save you time and boost your productivity. And finally, you're gonna learn how to build interactive apps and websites using AI. Whether you're from HR, marketing, sales, ops, or even running your own business or freelancing, folks from all backgrounds have showed up to this and they absolutely love it. So make sure your calendars are clear for this weekend because the training is scheduled for the coming Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. on both days. And here's what some past attendees have to say about the training. It's been a really great session. Amazing really great, like just um, hopefully life-changing. Now I'm gonna to reveal to you something even crazier right now. If you go to the pinned comment below and get registered today, and remember, it is 100% free to attend, you're also gonna get bonuses worth $5,000, which includes a prompt Bible with more than 3,000 prompts when you attend day one, a roadmap to make money with AI when you attend day two, and your personalized AI toolkit builder if you attend both days. So what are you waiting for? Go to the pinned comment below and register now so that you don't get replaced by AI, but instead, you're the one doing the replacing. In addition to that, make sure you join their WhatsApp community so that you receive all updates about exactly when the training is going on and any other updates. Now. Use case number one that I wanted to walk us through was actually using this to create social media posts for our business. So basically, you're gonna upload your business URL to this. This is going to go through, it's going to create a business summary, it's going to create a post, it's going to create a caption, it's going to generate a bunch of other stuff like images, and then it's going to display all of that. So let's actually go through and see this in the wild. So social media posts, create a social media post for my business, click on start right here. I'm then gonna come over here and I'm gonna grab a random business right here from Baseball Lifestyle 101. We're then going to put this link in here. Now, we need to briefly describe the proposed focus of the post, like general community outreach or behind the scenes at business name. And what I'm going to put is general appreciation. Actually, let's not even do that. Let's put Labor Day 40% uh, off sale. That's what this post is gonna be about. If we wanted to add an image here, for example, if there was a specific product where there was a logo or something like that, we would be able to add it in here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over to BL101 and I'm actually just gonna come over to Google and look this up. We're gonna type in BL101 logo. I'm gonna come over here. I am going to grab the logo. We can grab it from right here. I am going to save this image right here, BL101. Then we're gonna come over here. We're gonna upload this. We could upload it from device right here, come to my downloads, grab this photo, and I am gonna send this right here. So we just gave this the website, it, we gave it a description of the post that we want, and we gave it an image. Again, we could have chosen a product image, we could choose the logo, you could pretty much choose whatever you want, and now this is going to go through and work through all of this and actually create a social media post for that exact scenario. Okay, so now here's what we actually have. We could see that this went through, this created the caption, which is really good. Swing into savings this Labor Day. That's a nice plan words, considering that this is a baseball apparel website. We could see swing savings right here. We could also see that this knew that it was 40% off, like I told it in the description. So now we have a social media post that we could use. The only thing that we might would have wanted to change in the beginning was we should have told this what this was actually for, because this looks more like a banner image, but we should have told this that this was for and Instagram or it was for Facebook and it would have done it in the square that we would actually need to do it for the platform. In addition to that, one other nice touch is how good the hashtags are that are put down here. A use case number two is a video marketer right here. So essentially what this will do is this will go through and create AI video ads with our product and for our target audience. And again, we can see exactly how this works right here. It goes through all of these different steps. All we have to do is come over to app, click on start right here, enter the name of the 
the product, I am going to, again, come over to Baseball Lifestyle. We can come over to their website. We could come to their top selling products. For example, these ice cream youth shorts. So I am going to grab these right here. We're going to come back over here. I'm going to put the name in and then describe the target audience. I'm going to say kids that play baseball. And then what this is going to do, this is going to research the product, and then it's going to create a video that actually goes through and does this. So this goes through, it tells us what it's thinking. So it researches the product, it's going to do an initial search, and it's going to extract specifications and value proposition. And then it's going to go over the plan in order and actually go through and create a video for this product. Now, one warning that I do have here because we're gonna have to choose a different product. You could see that video generation with minors is actually not supported by this. So just make sure that you're not using this for anything related to kids. Okay, so we're gonna choose a new product right here. I'm gonna enter the name. I am going to do 2018 Ferrari 488 Spider White. And then describe the target audience. Uh, I'm gonna put rich people that love cars and now this is going to go through again do the research do everything that needs to be done and then create the video here okay so here's what we've actually got here now which is pretty cool it's got this guy wearing a suit and then it has a white ferrari 488 spider so this did a pretty good job at actually showing this off and if we wanted to we can now use this as an ad for this now the next one that i want to show off here is going to be this right here so essentially what this does is this will actually go through you could put in a youtube video here it's going to extract the transcript it's going to add analyze that content and then it's going to make a display report. So essentially what this does is turns a YouTube video that you wanted to watch into a quiz so that you can actually learn from it way better and it kind of reinforces the things that you would learn watching the video. Check this out. So all we have to do is click on start here. We then have to enter in a YouTube video URL. So I'm going to come over to YouTube right here. I'm going to type in Rob AI guy and hopefully my latest video comes up. Yes, it did. I'm going to copy the link address right here. I'm going to come back over into here. We're going to paste this. And now what this is going to do is this should go through and this should create a quiz about my video. And I hope that you guys actually interact with the quiz and begin doing this with my content because it's going to help you learn more, learn faster, and kind of have these things stick in your memory that you're learning inside of my videos. Or you could use this to build quizzes for uh, a school community or for additional content. Or you could just use this to actually build quizzes for content in general. Or if you were a school teacher or you were a student trying to learn things, again, a great way to build additional things off of content that already exists out there. Okay, so now that this is actually done, we could see this right here, that we could watch a source video right here, or we could go through the educational report that this actually created right here with all the key learning points and all the different segments, and an interactive quiz that we can now go through and see which of these things is actually correct about the video. And again, this is incredibly useful because this is going to allow you to reinforce the things that you're learning in content or reinforce what somebody else should be learning in your content if you're a teacher or something along the lines of that. Now, in terms of other use cases, I just wanted to walk you through pretty quickly a few other things that you could have this do. For example, business profile. This will give you an accurate glimpse into how the internet actually sees you or your business. They have a city builder where you can create a game concept with AI generated video that you could do product research with this. You could do spelling bee. There's a fashion stylist. There's a blog post writer. And there's even a generated playlist. And there are so many other things that you can build with this because it's literally unlimited. You tell it exactly what you want in plain English. It actually goes ahead and builds that AI mini app. And now you can begin to automate both yours and your team's work so you don't have to spend time doing a bunch of things manually. Now, if you like this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through three other Gemini changes that just came out because they just launched a brand new image model. They launched dozens of other free AI apps and so much more. I'll see you over there.